for that personal delivery. As AKA my cousin said, Cambodian pancakes. And then, oh, that's really, I guess that place is like popular or something, but nobody's gonna order ahead, so you don't have to wait. Oh. Good. Do you just eat it by itself? Yeah. Oh, I miss that smell. Damn, when I, I totally forgot about this too, and then my cousin showed me the page, the video, mm. and I was like, oh man, I remember that now. Mm. So yeah, let's try it. What's in the middle? There's like a. To be honest, it looks you, like a nipple. No, it's just <laughs> it's just a dough. Mmm. You good? Pretty good. Yeah, they kind of chewy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. How I remember. How I remember. Mm -hmm. Dang, they put like literal ice in the bag for us to keep it cold. So I got a avocado smoothie. What'd you get? I think it's a, a mixed fruit. Mm, mixed fruit. But yeah, let me take this out so we can try it. So yeah, Kevin's parents leave in two days. So after that, we're gonna be having a week to ourselves. Um, not sure what we're gonna do. Mm. Pretty good. Not sure what we're gonna do, but we're gonna hang out a lot. Mmm, this one's good. Mine? Mm-hmm. It's mixed. It's like it's like durian. There's durian in it. It's a mix. It's like a mixed fruit with like oh I don't know. I was that. But yeah. Super good. Yeah. It does have like gear in it and other So yeah, mm, we've been saving places that we want to go eat at. Um, yeah, just gonna be chilling. Mm. And when we get back, we're not gonna be back. We're catching a flight. No problem. We're not about that. On the same day, we're going to Vegas. And we're going to go to EDC. And it's my first EDC. It's Kevin's first EDC. So I'm super excited to go. It's been a while since I've been to Vegas, too. So, yeah. Non stop party. Mm hmm. Non stop party. And then party. we go back and be adults. Mm hmm. So, technically, we'd be, we, we would have been gone for. A month. a month. Yeah, it's a much needed break. Then broke boys. Broke girls. Go back and eat ramen mm -hmm. from a cup. Yep. So yeah. We'll see you guys when we do something else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
What is up, guys? It's our first day. Without our parents. What's good, fam? Today is Friday, the 12th, 13th. <laughs> anyway, so we haven't really been doing much the past couple days. We went to this Chinese restaurant that was way overpriced. Uh, price. A lot. American price. It was, yeah. Well, way overpriced for here. There was just, you know, regular Chinese dishes. And then Kevin's parents packed up. Looks like I'm in jail with these bars behind me. But um, Kevin's parents packed up and they left yesterday. So after yesterday, we have a week to ourselves. And we can do whatever we want. Right now, we're gonna go back to that udon restaurant because it's literally probably like a five minute walk. And then um, go to Starbucks, get some coffee, come back. That's what we're doing today. Not sure what we're gonna do tonight. Um, but yeah, we'll see y'all when we get to the udon restaurant. You don't want to do it. <laughs> he knows it's gonna be. Oh, 
You cheater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what is up guys um if you can already tell my eyebrows are super 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 dark because i got them tattooed again um last time i had them done it was about seven years ago and so i thought it was time um to get them touched up uh, most people do it in a shorter amount of time than that, but I got it done in Vietnam for 20 bucks <laughs> so I Got these done in Cambodia. I found this guy or I didn't even find him um, Kevin's cousin Sent him his TikTok to me so I looked over it and Realized that it was you know wasn't too bad and I got them done for hundred and fifty dollars so she he, there's a guy that owns it, but his assistant did it on me. She basically just went through and um, redid the shape that I had. Um, you know, so I guess after seven years, your face like changes and then your eyebrows get like, you know, change shape and your skin changes. So she just kind of touched up um, the same kind of shape, but I had to erase like some parts that you know she basically drew a new shape but it wasn't like too drastic that I had to like erase a lot um, so yeah did that uh, today we're gonna go to Eon Mall and just kind of like have a little date um, because two days ago it was our eight year anniversary for me and Kevin. It was super cute because his cousin like got us a cake and stuff like that and Kevin's birthday is next month and so he's not gonna be able to celebrate with his cousin so we just kind of got together and hung out. It was really cute that they got us a cake. Um, so yeah, we leave in two days three days it's Monday we leave on Thursday so I guess two days and yeah just trying to make the best out of it it's so crazy that I've literally been here for three weeks it's been so long since I've been away from my house besides like my grandma's house for this long since COVID and we're not even gonna go back home we're gonna go fly back to the States and then hop on another flight that day and go to Vegas. Super spontaneous. I, I, I bought my EDC tickets probably like last month or like two months ago and, or, and Kevin was like less, like last month is when I bought his EDC ticket and plane ticket and stuff. So that's gonna be super exciting. I'm so excited. That's why I was like, I need to get my brows done because I don't know when I'm gonna come back here to Cambodia or to Vietnam. Last time I went to Vietnam was seven years ago. So yeah, I'm happy I got them done though. They look good. It's just super dark right now and my skin is just kind of red. 
there's like this cream it's kind of like petroleum jelly that you put on your eyebrows and it's supposed to help you're not supposed to get it wet for three days and you're supposed to put that cream on for three days and flaking is normal and yeah <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys when we get to the mall. guys it is our second to last day in Cambodia <laughs> we didn't really do much today I just went and got my nails done for ADC I'm gonna show them heel super super cute and then here's the other hand because it is kind of different ish like some fingers but yeah um, we are packing everything is a mess right now and we are ordering food from Food Panda. We're getting some pizza. And yeah, it's super, super rainy outside. Here, let me show y'all. Well, I mean, I guess you can't really see anymore. Yeah, it's just sprinkling now, but it was raining a decent amount. So yeah. Um, I literally jinxed it because I was talking about how I like how it rains here because it doesn't rain for too long. It'll rain for like a couple minutes, no more than like an hour, and boom. It's been raining nonstop since like what, five? <laughs> and now it's almost nine. But yeah, so this is the progress on my eyebrows. Still putting that hydrocolloid cream thing on it. It's kind of like Vaseline consistency. We leave. Tomorrow is our last full day. We are off back to the States. It's been a good three weeks. Really needed it. Yeah, I will show y'all the pizza when it comes. 
So I was really hungry. I ended up eating one, but we got Domino's instead because the other pizza place we wanted to go to would have taken like an hour and a half to get here. So we just went with Domino's. I think this is like barbecue chicken. And then I got like a little appetizer sampler thing. There's like mozzarella sticks, garlic bread, wings, and like, and then boneless wings, I believe. And yeah, super hungry. And then we also got, it's like some cinnamon sticks. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty good. They have this chili sauce. I don't know if we have it in the States. I guess we do, it says Heinz chili sauce. But it's pretty good with pizza. You know how over there we eat it with ranch? They eat it with ketchup. <laughs> and that chili sauce. I don't know if you had the pizza yet. They don't do a lot of, too much of a sauce. Mm -hmm. They don't really do too much tomato sauce here. You just put it on yourself with the ketchup. <laughs> what is that? It's our last afternoon in Cambodia and we are just packing our things and weighing them and yeah just kind of enjoying the last afternoon how are you feeling um, so for our flight we had to take a COVID test at least a day before so that's what we did yesterday, max, the day before max. And yeah, I'm sweating so much. This is the progress on what my eyebrows look like. It looks kind of like this colored in a way, like not even because there's like skin flaking off and that's perfectly normal in the healing process. So yeah, um, we got our Vegas items in there and then extra clothes we don't need. And then in here, it's just extra clothes we don't need either. And yeah, that's what we're doing. Not more camera. No camera. What is up? We are at the airport now. <laughs> it's pretty empty, but we got some hot dogs from Dairy Queen and then some Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> and yeah, just waiting for our flight. <laughs> up guys so we made it back from Cambodia um, at about 5 p.m. today and now we hopped on another plane and now we are in Vegas everyone's at EDC right now and Kevin and Jenny just went downstairs to gamble um, I'm super exhausted and I, I personally don't like gambling anyways so I am just here kind of unpacking my stuff and yeah, we have about 20 something to 30 people in our group. So if I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't think I'm gonna vlog. <laughs> Cause I get super nervous and antsy about pulling out my camera in front of other people. Yeah, I'm just not on that level yet. So if anything, I will make a montage, put some music behind, um, some videos, because this is my first EDC. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, 
yeah had a lot of fun in Cambodia now we're about to have a lot of fun in Vegas <laughs> bye <laughs>